I think we've lost our intuitive sense of food. I think we've lost our sense of what a portion size is, what the family meal is, the, the cadence of how we eat food during the day. I think we continue to give ourselves permission to have that snack food, not realizing that we're doing it a couple times a day and every day. Um, there's, when we eat out, you give yourself a little bit of permission to get that exactly what you want on the menu because you don't cook it at home. But yet we're eating out almost 70% of our meals on average. So in the 60s, we ate 30% of our meals away from home and 70% at home. And it's almost flip-flop now. So 70% of our meals on average are away from home or away from home foods. And there's, I think, a certain psychology about giving yourself permission to get that special food that you're not going to prepare at home. And you also don't know exactly what's in that food, in that, you know, even that fried chicken, you don't know exactly the caloric content. So you have less control over what exactly is in it. Simple daily things that Americans can think about is um, our drinking water and eating fresh fruits and vegetables. It's, that's often challenging if there's not equal access, but it's um, trying to think about n not just eating fresh fruits and vegetables, but what is the most enjoyable, what are the most enjoyable foods, and thinking about the health of those foods, and then moving more. You know, getting our bodies out and moving, not necessarily um, rigorous physical activity, but just moving more helps awaken and aliven our bodies so that we can be uh, more sensitive to the body's needs and, and be alert. So uh, reach for healthy snacks, move your body more, drink water. There are lots of little things we can do and we need to do as many of them as we can. So just things like um, controlling our immediate food environment, what we bring into the home. We bring we bring snack food into the home, we, that means we bring snack food into our fat cells. We're gonna eat that or a family member's gonna eat that. So controlling the food in the home is of course one of the most important uh, proximal things we can do. And then how do we control how much we eat? We have a plate in front of us, having a smaller plate helps a little bit. So even just having a smaller plate and not trying to eat less causes a little bit of weight loss. Physical activity absolutely um, influences the metabolism and increases the metabolism if you're sustaining it at high levels. But it also helps promote a sense of well-being. Uh, physical activity uh, also is a buffer against stress. So even a nice leisurely walk and being out in nature can go a long way to reduce stress before you reach for those bag of potato chips or you know the Snickers bar.